Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome. Today's video is about my next stage of my yarn adventure holiday. So it's from Wangaratta to Ballarat and what we saw and what I bought. Mm. Ballarat was things choice because at, um, in Ballarat is the Eureka Stockade Museum showing the Eureka flag. Um, if I can find a link about it, I'll put it in the description below. So um, it's about the miners and the police and the big riot and people getting killed. But there was a flag and it is known as the workers flag now. And on Labor Day, it is often um, used for marches, which is May the 1st Labor Day here. So... Wangaratta. We left Wangaratta and we decided we'd go via Ballina because doing the Silo Heart Trail we'd bypass Ballina and I thought it would be worth a look. Um, I wasn't expecting much but wow was I blown away when I got there because Ballina has been yarn bombed. The whole main street all the way up at yarn bombing. I took quite a few photos and I'll put some of those photos at the end. Also near where we parked on the corner was what I call a mom and pop general store. You know, clothes, fabric, haberdashery, wool, bit of this, bit of that. And in there I found, because I don't have a lot of project bags, but my project bags are growing. <laughs> So I found this one with owls on it in the front pocket. Um, it's quilted. There's nothing really inside. Um, thing did point out it's made in China. It's not handmade. It has a thing that um, we have to buy things made in Australia. But I did like it and I bought this and I also found another gift for a friend there that I won't share with you. The, she had a whole wall of different yarn and... Um, it's a lot of yarn that I've bought and used before and I had decided I wasn't buying any more yarn. I had bought enough on the trip. But um, And she was an absolutely lovely lady talking to... Um, she said straight away, well, he's from Queensland and that's because he doesn't dress for the winter properly. He keeps trying to encourage the sun. But yeah, she was talking to us. Lovely customer service and this is what I bought for myself. I, Another, a project bag, because at the time when I bought this, I thought I need project bags. But my little pile of project bags is growing. So um, the other thing about Ballina was there was a Saturday, we got there on a Saturday and there was a Saturday market there. We had a nice wander around looking at stuff. Thing bought some socks. Um, he has this, he goes through stages, but at the moment he has this, I guess passion for more socks. He bought some Australian made socks, um, not hand knitted, machine knitted. And yeah, we had a lovely stop and break in Ballina and then we went on to Ballarat where the weather got wetter and colder and yes. Now Ballarat was probably the second worst accommodation we had booked. Um, the room was very big, very spacious but it was old and tired and a lot of things were not quite um, holding together in it. They were a little broken. The bathroom had been re renovated. It was huge, but it was freezing cold. Yes, the room had central heating, but you had to leave the bathroom door open to try and get some of the chill out of the bathroom. Also, the reception wasn't overly helpful. And it said it had free internet or you could purchase internet, but the internet didn't work. And I was coming down with the head cold, so I wasn't really happy anyway. <laughs> I was grumpy already. Um, the plan for me in Ballarat was to check out Sunday markets and we would go to the Eureka Stockade Museum. We went to check out some markets. We were walking in when we overheard this guy say, well, that wasn't worth $2 entry fee. Um, there was a $2 entry fee to this their market. And he said there wasn't enough there for $2. Well, I don't mind paying an entry fee because it's usually a donation to some um, community 
organization this happened to be um i think it was rotary or something like that and there were stalls there he obviously didn't go in the buildings because there were more stalls in the building but they were a little disappointing there wasn't really anything to excite me that i wanted to buy there and we left there and we went to the eureka stockade museum um this is where we have another funny little story about thing and yes it was awesome the story goes he received a seniors card which gets you seniors discount um i thought it was for queensland only um, when he turned 65 he got one i haven't got one but he got one and you can present it at different places and get seniors discount i know two of the ladies i used to do christmas gift wrapping with Tommy that if you went to Donut King, you bought a donut, you got a free takeaway coffee as your discount. So she said, as we went into the admission center and it was reasonable, it was very cheap entry, I assure you. Um, do you have a seniors card? And he goes, yeah, I've got one from Queensland. And he pulls it out and he gets $3 off his entry free and he is over the moon. First time he's using his seniors card and he was absolutely chuffed. You'd think he'd won a million dollars just to get this $3 discount. It was funny to see his face. Anyway, the museum was awesome. The way it's laid out, it's very modern, a lot to look at, and you get to see the flag. And we did take a photo of the flag from all those years ago. And I'll put it up in the photo display at the end. So yeah, Ballarat, we stayed two nights, which is pretty minimal. We usually just stay two or three and we were leaving Ballarat and, he, and things that, is there anything you want to look at? Any yarn shops, anything before we head to Torquay and the start of our great ocean road adventure. And I said, no, not really. Oh, I Googled one yarn shop, but you know, I don't know. And we put it into the sat nav and we went there. I said to him, I'm not buying any more yarn. I've bought enough. So we find this yarn shop in Ballarat called So and Darn. And I go in for a look. And he stays in the car because he's Googling things. And he's oh, well, she won't be there long. She's not going to buy anything. An hour later, I came out with this bag. And he goes, famous last words, hey, not buying anything. So this is what I bought at So and Darn yeah, Shop. Now they have fabric, they have yarn. I just pause the video while I find some glasses. Won't be a moment. There, I can tell you what's on the label. So I bought two of these. I love this color. It's one of my favorite colors in the orange range. Doesn't have, oh, it's ochre. Its color name is ochre. It is Ella Ray Eco Tweed Yarn. Um, now, she said it was an eight ply or a three weight. It doesn't say anything like that on there. It's made in Turkey for knitting fever. And it suggested 4.5 millimeter knitting needles and a 4.5 to 5 millimeter crochet hook so to me it's probably a good eight ply three weight one of the thicker ones they can vary and it is what is it it was 75% merino and 25% polyamide now I can't even if the writing is so small that's why I thought I'd do there are 300 meters or 328 yards in each game and each skein cost me $22 because the prices are on the ticket. That's how I remember. I also bought, and there's four of them, but I cut one of the labels when I, by accident. It is called Naturally 100% New Zealand Wool Loyal Machine Washable. And it's made in New Zealand. It's 100% pure wool in orange and there are four balls but one of them somehow i've cut the label i also bought some things i've been chasing um 
those ones didn't have prices on but I know it wasn't that cheap and there you go so undone special she gave me the card they do alterations wool buttons gifts sewing craft I think the la the other lady was discussing a um, bridesmaid's dress she's making for someone so I wanted some small point needle protectors these knit pro ones I mean I can order them online but I saw them so I got when I went to the counter I grabbed them and the other thing I've wanted is the square knitting gauge by Clover and um, I've not been able to find it here and you can get it online and um, so I bought that so that's what I bought at Sew so and Done they are not cheap because the Clover stuff was slightly more expensive than I've seen it everywhere else and I did look at other yarns and that is one of the places I've talked about before the Pantene Hanks being different in price they were very expensive there and um, yeah the lady that came to help me was very helpful and walked me around we talked about pattern books and different things but that's what I bought at so and done because I wasn't buying yarn remember no more yarn <laughs> but I do like what I bought and I can't wait to try it as far as the squishiness scale goes it's not bad it's probably a three for me I would probably have to wear an undergarment if I made something with that and same with the loyal I did find most of the wool stocks she had um, were on the harsher side not the softer squishy side and the Malabrego she had was all cotton and I didn't want to buy any cotton at the time so we left Ballarat after I went to sew and done done and we headed to Torquay where we're going to set ourselves up for our five-day trip down the Great Ocean Road going to Torquay was pretty uneventful um, it was raining so thing was concentrating on the road and he's driving and as we got closer to Torquay the traffic greatly increases there was more canola farms and cattle along the way but that is from Wangaratta to Ballarat we had a lot of fun now I don't know if anyone has ever tried the loyal yarn from New Zealand I hadn't seen it before so let me know if you've seen it I do roughly know what I've paid and if you don't mind leaving a comment if you've used it what the knits like or crochets like and what did you pay um, the Ella Ray yarn I've seen it before and I have seen it cheaper online but never um, in a store and I was happy with what I bought but I'm glad I've actually seen it because sometimes it looks great online and like I said it's not as squishy and soft as I thought so let me know if you've used that yarn in the comments below but guys make sure you stick to the end and see some of the photos especially the yarn bombing in Ballina it was awesome so until next time take care stay safe stay well and remember no projects great without a great project bag bye for now